Good morning, and welcome back, or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is all day five, all day four. Um, and what are you in awe of? Um, yeah, go. So notice how I was this morning when I was getting up on the pillow, I was noticing how I get up on the pillow. It's very interesting how we do things. Yeah, I was just interested. So notice how you get up on your pillow, how you fix yourself, because that's the skill of what we were doing yesterday. Anyways, just come sit, light your candle. Grab some oil. As you rub your hands together, hear the sound of your hands. And then smell the waft of the oil as you rub. And feel the feeling of your hands rubbing. And then smell. Feel the sensation of smelling. Nice. And then just contact, hug yourself. Nice, hands over heart. Just breathing. Just feeling. Being present to all of this. Nice. So come, come into your uh, cat pose. And just begin to round and arch. Rounding, arching, rounding. Arching, nice. Squeeze the right side, keep your head centered. Squeeze the left side, keep your head centered. And just squeezing deeply into the folds of your waist. Deeply into the folds of your waist. And then draw a circle down, side, back, side, down, side, back, side down, side, change direction. As you roll, just be present, be in the breath, be in this now, feeling your body. Nice. From here, lift your right knee off the floor and sweep your right foot back towards the ceiling, keeping yourself in a neutral spine and then draw your right knee forward towards your belly. I'm not letting my torso sway and move so I just feel that I'm containing my deep lower belly as I draw my knee forward as I draw my knee back and now begin to draw your knee towards your shoulder and then back knee towards your shoulder and back and then the next time you bring your knee towards your shoulder sweep your foot a bit further forward and bring your foot to the outside of your hand or help your foot forward Round your back, arch your back. When I arch my back here, I meet the deep of my hip. I wonder, do you do the same? Just notice arching is the more intense version of this pose for me. Maybe yours is somewhere different. Rounding, arching. Nice, one more time, rounding arching so stay kind of slightly where i lean a little bit into my hip so i'm not avoiding the sensation of my hip reach your right hand as far forward as you can and touch the floor pull your right elbow back into lawnmower reach your right hand forward and pull your elbow back 
just feel that reaching forward. My shoulder is really enjoying that. Notice. Forward, you can look at your hand or look at the floor. In a gesture, you'd always watch where your hand is going. You'd never just send your hand to pick something up. You'd always watch your hand to pick it up. It's quite amazing how we organize our body based on what we can see a lot. Nice, both hands to the floor, back, other side. Keeping your spine in neutral, sweep your left heel towards the ceiling and left thigh towards your belly. Nice. Next time, bring your knee to your shoulder and then back. Shoulder and back. Next time your knee comes forward, fling it a bit further and bring your foot to the outside of your hand. From here, flattening your lower back, arching your lower back, flattening your lower back, arching. One more time, flattening your lower back, arching. Come to a neutral spine, either up or down, leaning a little bit into your hip. Reach your left hand forward, put it back into lawnmower. Forward, lawnmower. Forward, lawnmower. One more time. Forward, lawnmower. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Tuck your toes under, push back. Feel the length of your arms and your legs and your hips and your feet. Have a bit of a wiggle. Nice. Walk forward to the front of your mat. Slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide. And just pause there. Arms are wide. You're not really back bending, so don't lean back as well. So it's not up. It's more up and out with your arms and your chest. So you're looking towards the horizon rather than up towards the sky. Well, the sky is the horizon, but you know, it's not straight up towards the ceiling. It's out. And have that sense of like wide. So push into your feet and just feel full and wide and big. And your eyes are soft and you're gazing at the horizon. Nice. Bring your hands to your fist, uh, into fists and bring your hands to your hips. Again, gaze towards the horizon. Strong and long through your body. These are supposedly power poses. They're good for your your body sense, it seems. Great. Now reach your arms wide, palms come together. From here, bend your elbows and sit your bum down and pause when your bum is sitting back and your elbows are forward. And then bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and actually let it contact before we've been floating. So let your elbow and knee come into contact. Draw your right shoulder back a little bit more. Sit your bum down a little bit more. Nice, rising all the way up. Reach up towards the ceiling, tall and long. Bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, twisting towards the left. Draw your left shoulder back. Sit your bum down a little bit more. Nice. Rising up, reaching up. Keep your arms up, palms are facing forward. And then sit your bum down and then slide your elbows down so your chest pops forward. Really feel that your elbows are pulling back. And now bring your elbows together, your palms together. Round your back, pull your elbows back, lean into your chest. Sit your bum down a little bit more. Elbows come closer or together. Arms go wide. One more time. Elbows together. Arms go wide, rising up long and tall through your body. And then bending your elbows, bending your knees, come down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, rise and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your right foot back, drop your right knee to the floor, rise up with both arms, bend your elbows down so your chest pops forward. Bring both elbows together, rounding into your back. Pull your elbows together, bring your palms together. Elbows go wide, mm, elbows come together. 
As you go wide, you can lean back and look up if you wish. As your elbows come together, you can round forward, bring your elbows down to your knee. Find the range that suits you. Nice, both hands to the floor, step back into your plank. Pause there, strong and long through your legs. Draw your spine backwards, draw your navel backwards. Nice, drop your knees to the floor, all the way down. So bend your elbows so your right hand is on top of the left. And then reach your right hand forward and pull your right elbow back towards your hip and lift your left leg up at the same time. Reaching long, drop your head down. Bend your elbow, lift your leg. Opposite arm and leg, reaching. Mm -hmm. up. As you reach, drop your head down. As you bend your elbow, rising up. Reaching. Up. Change hands. Left hand reaches long, head drops down. Left elbow pulls back, right elbow, right leg lifts. Reaching. Up. We feel the edge of your ability here. It's not a territory that we travel into, is the leg moving behind us in power. I just feel that. One more time. Nice, we're gonna try both arms. Keep your feet where they are, just leave them on the floor. Pull both elbows back deeply. Let your chest rise. Reach your arms forward, drop your head down. Pull both elbows back, rising. Reaching forward, drop your head down. And again, rising, perhaps pause there. Elbows are pulling back, strong through the belly, strong through the spine. Maybe let your toes lift, maybe not. Hands to the floor, drop your head down. Push back into the cat, and then sit your bum back into your child's pose, rounding. Come all the way forward, arch your back, let your chest drop down in the direction of the floor. Rounding, sit your bum back into child's pose. Traveling forward, arch your back, chest comes down. Rounding, sit your bum back. Arching, chest comes forward, one more time. Rounding, sit your bum back. Arching, nice. Lengthen through your legs, step your right foot forward between your hands, whatever way you do, turn your back foot 45 degree angle. Both fists are on the floor. Yesterday we did the assisted rise. So you can bring your left hand to your knee if you wish. You can always edit by bringing your hand to your knee or bending your knees or doing whatever it is that you need to do. So pull your right elbow back, rising up into a twisted lunge. So really draw that elbow back as you reach long and strong through the left hand. Turn your palms towards the ceiling, slingshot. Reach the right hand forward, pull the left elbow back. Rise up with your arm, look up, pull your left elbow down as you reach your right hand up. Bend your front knee more. Nice. Bend your right elbow, bring your forearm down to your thigh. Your left arm long beside your ear. Bend your front knee more, really leaning into the length of the left side of your body. Nice. Turn towards the floor. Bring both hands near your right foot. Turn both toes towards the left side of your mat. And then just bend your right knee. Straighten. Bend your right knee. Straighten, so we're traveling into a half water washer. <laughs> Straighten, one more time. Bend your knee. Straighten, nice. Both hands come forward. Step forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Pause there, deep fold of your belly down towards your thighs. Nice, slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms face forward, sit your bum down, pull your elbows down, let your chest pop forward. Nice, draw your elbows together, rounding your back. 
pull your elbows wide. So I really feel a sense of like deeply leaning into my chest and then round your back, elbows together, pulling back. Sit your bum down more, elbows together, pulling back, pausing there. Really lean deeply into your chest as you pull your elbows back. Nice, rise up really tall. Feel the length of you like you're just yawning into or awakening up or stretching and lengthening. And bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands high on your shins, arch your back, look forward. Hands to the floor, step your left foot back, drop your left knee to the floor, rising up. Bend your elbows, palms or face forward. Draw your elbows together. Widen, lean back. I just feel that. Find the distance that you go to. You don't have to move your torso at all as you just draw your elbows forward and backwards. Or you can round and you can arch. Round, arch. One more time. Round, arch. Both hands down, step back into a powerful plank. Really pause there for a moment, be really strong in your arms, long in your legs. Drop both knees to the floor, hands are underneath your shoulders. From here, bring your right knee to your right elbow, round your back deeply, just pause there for a moment. Stay here, rounding your back deeply or lift the right foot off the floor. So you're in the same shape, but I've just lifted, I pointed my toes and my foot lifts off the floor. Pull through the spine, push down into your hands. Nice, foot to the floor, knee back, other side. Bring the left knee to your left elbow, foot is on the floor, round your back deeply, pause there, or lift your foot off the floor, same shape. Just lift your foot up. Nice, knee to the floor, round your back, sit your bum back. Stay rounded as you travel forward, arch your back, draw your chest down. Round your back, sit your bum back. Traveling forward, stay rounded and then arch, chest comes forward. Nice, push back, downward dog. Step your left foot forward or hop, skip, jump, help your left foot forward. Both fists are on the floor, back foot turned at a 45 degree angle. Pull your left elbow back, rise. Really feel the deep bone arrow in your body. So the left hand is reaching forward. No, <laughs> right hand is reaching forward. Left elbow is pulling back. Nice, turn your palms face forward, slingshot. Feel that, it's just gorgeous, I love it. Drop your elbow down, squeezing deeply. I feel folds on the right hand side. Reach your left hand up, bend your knee more. Really feel the embodiment of the gesture of what we're doing. Nice. From here, bring your elbow down to your thigh, reach your right arm long beside your ear, bend your knee more. Nice, turn towards the floor, hand to the floor. Turn your toes so that they're comfortable and then bend your left knee, straighten it. Bend your left knee, straighten it. Bend your left knee, straighten it. Step forward, front of your mat, rounding down, slowly rolling up, reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. So come sit. You can sit up on your cushion if you want to, or you can just sit on the floor, come into a cross-legged position. And just check in, see how you are. Mm, so lovely. Bring your fingers forward and just drop your belly down towards your thighs. I have my ankles crossed and I'm just leaning into my hips, deepening into my belly. You can walk your hands forward. There's a certain point where I feel my arms are connected to my lower back. Rounding forward, lengthening through the back. Mm. 
Nice. Going back. We've been doing this maybe now kind of a little bit consistently. Lean back, feet are in the air. Cross your other leg in front. I have my left leg in front now. Bring your arms wide. And then forward. Drop your head down. I was amazed at how, how what we practice changes. So when I first did this two weeks ago, I hadn't done it in ages. And everything was really groany and stiff. And now we've been doing it kind of consistently the last, it was the end of grace and now it's in awe. Hmm, things are changing. Roll your shoulders. Just enjoy the roll of your shoulders. In awe of what? You know, what, what creates awe in you? You know, that debate the very first day that I had was, is awe outside of you? Is it awe in, in, a, in a forest? Mm, change the direction of your shoulders. Is awe in a sunrise? Is awe in perceiving the kindness of another? Squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears, drop your shoulders down. Bend your right elbow in, just reach your right hand up, look up. Pull it down, reach your left hand up. Pull it down, reach your right hand to the left. Coming back, reach your left hand to the right. Coming back, and then just sit. For me, you know, the, the nature I see reflects the deep of me. It's like, it's like the things I love in nature resonate with me because I know them inside. It's like the whole of everything is also in me. So just rest with that sense of in this moment. Feel the sunrise that is you or the, the vastness of the communities of cells that are like a forest in you or like a, a rainforest or a jungle, you know, or Whatever it is, just be with the sense of presence, sense of beingness of this moment. Nice. So stay there. Stay sitting. You can lie down. Um, you can wander off into your awesome day. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just seeing. Take this with you. You know, I'm I'm hearing awe in my daily life at the moment. I'm hearing these moments of reflection that are very nice. Um, what is it creating in you? What moments of insight or awesomeness are you feeling? So I'll see you tomorrow. Be well. Be awesome. Be you. Uh, yeah. So 20 minutes for 21 days. If you are feeling benefit, if you want to contribute, if you want to join the tribe, this awesome tribe of yogis that are here with me every morning. Um, yeah, cool. I will see you all tomorrow um, for another awesome day of all. <laughs> Great. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.